Cody Rhodes became a megastar in WWE overnight and here's how he did it. Cody Rhodes came to WWE after many rumours that he left AEW and it was finally confirmed. There were many talks that he would join WWE but nothing was confirmed until a report came out that he had signed a WWE deal. He made his infamous return at WrestleMania 38 to be Seth Rollins' mystery opponent. They put on a really good match and he feuded with Seth Rollins ever since. After that amazing match they had at WrestleMania 38, which got a 4.5 star rating, which obviously doesn't mean anything because it's from Dave Meltzer, but the match was really good. Cody Rhodes finally got a WrestleMania moment, an amazing one, and it was rated the best moment of the year, rightfully so, because nothing really beats that. So, Cody Rhodes came into WWE as a star, but we didn't know if they were going to treat him like this going on forward, or if his presentation would change. We got many Raw appearances after this, the first one being on the Raw after WrestleMania, where he'd come out and cut an amazing, apparently unscripted promo, which was really really good and following on this he made many many more appearances wrestling at wrestlemania backlash as well as many live events before wrestling at wrestlemania backlash again his presentation was really good i mean we even got a countdown to cody rhodes what the hell wwe clearly knew that cody rhodes was a big draw and that's why they had a countdown to cody rhodes his merch was flying off the shelves. His presentation was exactly like his AEW presentation, but for some reason he wasn't at that megastar level. He was at the star level, but he hadn't reached the megastar level, something like Roman Reigns. So how was WWE possibly going to make him seem like a megastar? Well, it actually wasn't WWE that made him this megastar. It was something which was actually very unexpected, which made him the megastar he is today. Cody Rhodes was still feuding with Seth Rollins, and they're about to have their trilogy at Hell in a Cell. The build up to this match was amazing. We had a really good brawl nights before Hell in a Cell and Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins about to have their third and hopefully final match. They'd wrestled at WrestleMania and they'd also wrestled at WrestleMania Backlash, also doing many live events together which were not televised. Anyway, we get to Hell in a Cell and before this, some not so good news emerges. Cody Rhodes tore his pet. People on social media are at this point speculating whether this is true or what has happened. I mean, people are just confused. I mean, I was sitting there on my phone and I was really confused as to if he's actually injured and what they'll do if he's actually injured. Fans were really thinking, is Cody Rhodes going to do this match? Is he going to pull it off? So, Hell in a Cell goes along and we have some amazing matches on the card. But people are still waiting for this final match because you know what? The card wasn't great for Hell in a Cell. And then we get to the main event. Seth Rollins comes out and Cody Rhodes comes out as well. People are thinking, you know what? Alright, he's come out. The injury might not be that bad. That's why he's come out. So he has his jacket on. People know he has a torn pet. Because it was speculated and put around the internet very, very quickly. And then we get the big reveal. Cody Rhodes takes his jacket off. And the reactions to this were just insane. I mean, I remember sitting at home and thinking, what the hell? The bell rings. And at this point, I'm thinking, well, Cody Rhodes is doing the match. He's already a star. Even if Cody Rhodes is squashed in this match, and it's a one-minute match, he would have become quite a bigger star than he already was. That does not happen. They Wrestle an incredible match. It was very, very long, very, very entertaining. And uh, Cody Rhodes actually took a lot of spots. Seth Rollins would use Cody Rhodes' injury to his advantage, where he would use weapons and spots to damage him even more. The story to this match was very, very compelling. And we were thinking, can Cody Rhodes really overcome the odds? He was having two battles at once, one with his injury and one with Seth Rollins. I honestly could not believe he was really injured because someone that's that injured doing those spots that he was doing, it must have really hurt. You know, sometimes you can do a move but make it less painful for your opponent. But when you're targeting the injury itself, anything's gonna hurt. So we know Cody Rhodes went through real pain in this match. At the end of this match, Cody Rhodes hit the crossroads to win the match. And after, when Hell in a Cell went off air, he would cut a promo where he would say that it was all his decision. And that people were telling him that he shouldn't do this, but he did it anyway. Because fans paid their hard-earned money to come and watch it. Which just made this whole moment way more special and way more commendable. Dave Meltzer gave this match a 5-star rating, which is WWE's first 5-star rating since CM Punk versus John Cena at Money in the Bank. And it was all 
thanks to pretty much all Cody Rhodes. Of course, Seth Rollins paid a massive part in this. However, the story created by Cody Rhodes being injured put this match from a 4.5 star to a 5 star, in Dave Meltzer's ratings at least. In my ratings, this exceeded that 5 star mark just because of the pure story behind it. And the reaction to this online was just insane. People could not believe what they just saw Cody Rhodes do. He got so much love. People were saying that this is one of the best things that wrestling has seen in years. And I could not agree anymore. Cody Rhodes really proved why he is the biggest star WWE has. He just went out there with a legitimate injury that takes months and months, even sometimes years to recover from. And he put on a five star classic inside Hell in a Cell with Seth Rollins. He became a megastar within the duration of that match. We'll have to see how Cody Rhodes returns to WWE. It was a great performance. And that is how Cody Rhodes managed to become a megastar very, very quickly.